Hello again. Welcome back to Breakfast All Day. Oh my. It's that magical time <laughs> where we talk about a new Tyler Perry movie, Tyler Perry's A Medea Family Funeral, which you will all be shocked to learn was not screened for critics before opening day. Surprise! As they tend not to be. I think they haven't screened a single Tyler Perry movie since for Diary of a Mad Black Woman. No, no, for color. Oh, they girls, did. Oh, yeah. Because he thought That's that right. was going to be his Oscar movie, yes. I remember. Oh, well. Uh, but so, yeah, not since. Yeah, so, um, so Alonzo and Dave and I all went and saw the new Medea movie last night. I yes. didn't. So, <laughs> uh, it's a funeral. <laughs> there's, really, there's not a ton of plot here. Basically, um, Medea, Joe, Cassie, and Hattie, and uh, Brian, who is that's the one character that Tyler Perry plays without uh, excessive makeup on his face, uh, are traveling to uh, an anniversary party of. I can never keep track of who's related to who. So it's some is Vian, other brother. Is, 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 is Anthony related to them or is Vian Anthony related to them? It's some relation of some sort. Okay. Somebody's. somebody's cousin or something is having a 40th anniversary party so they all show up uh but unfortunately the husband uh picks that very day to drop dead of a heart attack while having sex with another woman in a hotel the hotel where they're all staying so they all know the circumstances behind it man go out do something you love yeah well. not just any kind of sex though oh yeah it's uh it's super kinky s&m sex well it's pg-13 kinky s&m sex mm -hmm. so the woman is wearing like a you know full sort of black leather bodice and there's reference to him having a ball gag in yeah. his mouth but we never see it anyway uh meanwhile the dead guy's oldest uh Older son is having an affair with the younger son's fiance, so that's all happening. And the older son is also married. Yes. To a woman that he's horrible, horrible to, to all yes. the time, yes. And so, you know, it's a Tyler Perry movie. So basically, when Medea and Joe and a new uh, oh, senior God. citizen character played by Tyler Perry named Heathrow, who um, has amputated legs and an uh, electrolarynx <laughs> are on screen, then it's funny. And when they're not on screen, it's not funny. And even when they are on screen, the movie is a series of people sitting around in a circle and oh having God. conversations. Like, every other scene is that. Which, if you watched Boo 2 or a lot of other recent Perry films, you'll see is sort of his favorite configuration because apparently everything he knows about directing he learned in community theater. Also, he likes when they're all standing in a row. So, like, one of the early scenes we see of all the, the kids of the couple with the anniversary, they're, like, all standing behind the island of this really kitchen, nice yeah. kitchen. Like they're on a there, sitcom. <laughs> there's, like, four people all standing in a row and he, and the lighting is super like flat Flats. and bright. Like he's made what? And I know we have this conversation this every is his time. First feature he film. He still does not know where to put the camera. No, and this movie is lit <laughs> like it's. It, it looks like the first movie that was made entirely in motion smoothing. Uh, it's yeah, it's it's terrible looking. And you know the the first scene is all these characters standing around the kitchen, and we don't know who any of them no, are. No, we get dropped in. Just like plop, here we go. And it's not like it's a sequel to anything where you need to have seen the previous one like no, we just don't I'm, even know who they are i mean i'm sure somebody online has mapped out the extensive family tree of all these people <laughs> but like i don't think the, this is a branch of the family we've encountered before wait, in, in previous medea films no. are we saying that there's a another mcu a medea cinematic <laughs> universe there apparently there is. is yeah now perry has been saying that this is his final medea movie which would suck because it's not one of the better ones and i will go on record as saying there are some good medea movies um He's so funny as Medea. He is. And as Uncle Joe and even as Heathrow. Heathrow is inappropriate. It, very, <laughs> but, but has a lot of funny stuff. It's like, and it just makes me insane that A, he, he's, he is so phoning it in when it comes to the rest of the movie. Like, there's one monologue at the end of the movie that the, the widow gets to make that's kind of like, oh, like... Where was this energy the rest of the right. movie? Like, There's acting to be had here. <laughs> yeah, like somebody might have actually done something or said something of interest. Um, but, you know, and I was thinking about this. I just wrote my review for The Wrap. It's like, Perry is so good in other people's movies, like in Gone Girl and in Vice. I would love him to play Medea in a movie that somebody else directed. Right, and so maybe, not, not Tyler Perry's Medea something. Exactly. It's like... Starring Tyler right. Perry. Baz no, Luhrmann's no, Tyler Perry's and, and Neil Jordan's. And maybe even like co-written with somebody else where like Tyler Perry would write the Medea scenes and the other person would write the rest of the movie because it's the rest of the movie where this thing falls apart. But as we see, which is often the case, there are wacky outtakes during the closing credits. Always. And so who even knows how much is written? Oh, like yeah, no. written by Tyler yeah, Perry oh, yeah. is him riffing he's, in a dress. He's improv like Matt. Yeah. And, and again, that's 
that's but that's still way more energetic than the rest of the movie is. Yeah, no. Because everybody else is just sort of stuck with his sort of like flat melodrama dialogue, which, you know, and it's it's very much like one of his stage plays in that there's these sort of like, you know, family members who are screwing each other over and lying and being hypocrites. And then at the end, Medea tells them all what for, and then we all go home. You right. Know. I will say, though, that I, I told Chris this when I got home last night. It's it's, it's bad in the way that all Tyler Perry movies are bad and good in the way that all <laughs> Tyler Perry movies are good. Um, but this seemed less churchy to me oh, definitely. than most. I mean, actively so in terms of making fun of one of the better scenes is making fun of the black funeral, the black funeral, the black Baptist church funeral and like just how interminable they are yeah. and how indulgent they are. I mean, yeah, it's, it's affectionately toying with um, a staple of, of black culture, but like there's, there's honesty to that and there's a pointedness to that that seems missing in a lot of his films that tried to be way more biblical. Yeah. Also, it's, tr it tries in a scene to address the whole like Black Lives Matter that, That's phenomenon. one of the better parts of the movie. They but then get, that goes nowhere. No, eventually, <laughs> yeah. But they, they get pulled over by a traffic cop and Brian, the 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 uh, non putty covered Brian, a uh, 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 Tyler Perry mm -hmm. character, is you know like no no this is why like like people just need to obey the police and that's why you know these things go wrong. Or put your and, hand on the wheel. And, yeah, <laughs> and all the older people are like no 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 this is not good this is not good and of course the cop is you know terrible to him until he finds out and that he's white. a lawyer white. and white and, and screaming and like you know like. <laughs> There's, it's a no-win situation, and it's a funny scene, and it at least flirts with an idea. You're right; it kind of peters out, but at least it, it goes somewhere. It's trying to make a point about what it is like to be black in America right now, yeah. but not with any kind of like the intelligence or the pointedness of many other films that are doing that so well. Uh, I, I felt like that was a missed opportunity. Like, oh, he's trying to use his clout and his audience to really say something from a venue that we don't ordinarily see, yeah. and then it just kind of. I mean, it's no the hate you give, but no. it's something. I admire the, the he tried. Anyway. You know, yes. um, and and you're right. The movies have gotten less sort of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus as he's gone along. I mean, Medea has always sort of been like the joke is that she never goes to church, mm -hmm. and that you know it used to be that she smoked weed. They kind of don't do that as much anymore. Uh, but you she's know, profane and, and inappropriate. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But 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 nonetheless sensible, and maybe is. I think that the idea is that she may be less churchy than the other characters, but she is living the tenets of I the see. Bible in a better way than most people who claim to be, you know, sanctimonious, mm -hmm. but who are actually like, you know, hypocrites or whatever. Um, yeah, I, you know, I, and the thing, I think people kind of dismiss these movies out of hand without having seen them. And it's like, Medea as a comic creation is great. I, I will insist and and... And die on this hill. I love Medea. <laughs> but I wish that Medea got like a duck soup. I, I think I've said this before uh -huh. in reviews too. Like the Marx Brothers, duck soup is their best movie because there's no like ingenue romance. There's no not funny musical numbers that don't serve any purpose. Like it's just a straightforward, concentrated dose of Marx Brothers anarchy. And I would love to see a Medea movie that was that focused on the nuttiness of her and Uncle Joe and, and, and Aunt Bam and those characters and just skipped the other stuff that's never any fun to watch. Right, we are then stuck with it veering from the delightful nuttiness to like sanctimoniousness. Yeah. And it's always this like whiplash inducing yanking back and forth tonally and I guess that's also part of what you buy into when you buy a ticket sure. to a Tyler Perry movie because he's always going to want to hit every single note and he's never going to do it in a way that is elegant or fluid. Pretty much, that's yeah. I think that's part, maybe by now he figures this is baked into the experience. Yes. This is what you expect. And if I made a coherent film, that would be bizarre. Right. Well, <laughs> maybe. Or I mean, I don't know how much, I don't know what the line is between I don't want to lose my well-established audience. Yeah, the base. That, that has come, exactly, <laughs> the base, that has come to see these movies knowing exactly what they are and loving what they are versus... Can he even do a movie that isn't that? Like, we don't know. We don't know because he, <laughs> he's very comfortable in his wheelhouse, so we don't really know how large that wheelhouse is. Yes. Anyway, um, so we had a good time. You know, again, like Greta, which we just discussed, <laughs> this is a good movie to see with friends. Yes. Go and laugh at the, at the ridiculousness of it all. Have some fun with your friends. Um, we did. Yeah. So what was your number? <laughs> My number is a four. I said four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen some folks out there saying this is the best Medea movie in 10 years. Oh, I'm, it is I'm not. not. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, it still looks like crap technically. Oh, my favorite thing, I, I leaned over to Alonzo and mentioned this, like, 
the continuity. They're not oh, even trying. There's, I, a, there's I, a scene where they leave yes. the house. They leave the house for the hospital. It's nighttime. And it's nighttime. And they the, come back to a different house. The, no, no, no. The party's <laughs> happening at night. They leave at night. You can see outside it's dark. And then the next scene, the very next scene is in the hospital waiting room and it's bright daylight coming through the windows. Yes. Like nobody even tried. Maybe it was a long drive. I was going to say, like, are th- it's not even like they've been waiting all night and now it's the next morning. It's like... No, it's minutes have passed. It's, it's, just, it's just like the immediate moment afterward. And I'm like, wait, I lean over to Alonzo and I go, wait, wasn't it just <laughs> nighttime? I'm yeah. so confused. Dave and I mentioned that too. <laughs> um, by the way, uh, it is not the best Medea movie in the last 10 years because Medea's Big Happy Family came out in 2011 and that is the best Medea movie of the last 10 years. I recall also having a really good time at Boo, a Medea Halloween. The first Boo was okay. The first Boo was fun. Yeah. Um, also, um, for Never you, forget your first Boo. Yeah, for, yes, for your, for your mindless eye, can, eye candy, every single <laughs> man in this is shirtless at some point and they're all like increasingly muscular including the dead guy (laughs) yeah to the point where like it's just like they're just standing there like shirtless talking to each other (laughs) yeah one guy there's one guy they're having a conversation because they well let me throw a shirt on and i'll go out and join you and it's like no don't 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 do that please don't (laughs) um also yeah if you stay through the outtakes um through the credits rather you can see in the outtakes the bizarre sight of tyler perry in the, in the Medea getup, directing from the set. It's just, it's all <laughs> synapses firing. I can't do it. So um, I'm saying four, you're saying four and a half. Yes. Our number is 4.3. There is no tomato meter number yet for this because it has not screened. Yeah, we did. Reviews only just started popping up this morning. So probably by the time this posts on YouTube, there may be a number, but at the moment we ain't got one. I mean, and again, not that me- that reviews matter. If you're going to see a Medea movie, you're going to see a Medea movie. Exactly. All right. Well, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, Subscribe and like us here on YouTube. Uh, You can also subscribe to us as a podcast in all the popular podcatchers. And if you want to leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts, that would be awesome. It does help people find the show. And, you know, we're new. Uh, You know, keep tweeting about the show and letting everybody know that uh, What the Flick is no more, but that Breakfast All Day is where it's at. And you can follow us at BeFastAllDay on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks. Bye.